Welcome to All I Mass TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And in today's class, we have a very sweet challenge. And before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So let's go into today's challenge. Here we have if x to the power of x equal to x to the power of 2, therefore x is equal to what? So how do we now handle this? Very simple. We take our solution. Solution. So let's write our equation then. We have x to the power of x or equal to x to the power of 2. All right. Now, with x, the first thing you do is to divide all true by x raised to power 2. So, from here we cannot say divide true by x to the power of 2. So, if we do that, this will give us x to the power of x all over x to the power of 2 equal to x to the power of 2 all over x to the power of 2. All right, now that we have this, this we go with this. On this side, we're left with 1. Then, if we go by the law of indices, this is x as a base, it's also having the same base at the bottom. So, and we have a division sign here. So, we can carry out the law of division of indices that says when the bases are the same, subtract the powers. So, dx will now give us x all to the power of x minus 2 equal to 1 on the other side. All right. Now that we have dx, let's proceed. So, from here. Okay. So, from here, look at this guy here. How do we handle this? Dex, we can introduce natural log to dex. Okay, so if I introduce i n to this side and at the same time I introduce it to this other side, it will now become i n of x to the power of x minus 2 equal to i n of 1. Okay, so from here, where we have I n x to the power of x minus 2 or equal to I n 1, we apply the law of logarithm, which says when you have a base number raised to a power, bring the power back. So if we do this, this will now become x minus 2 in bracket I n x equal to I n 1 will give us zero okay so new one is equals to zero so from here we can now equate dx x minus two to zero equate i n x to zero like we normally do in our factorization method of quadratic equation so at this point dx now implies that x or right, x minus 2 equal to 0 or i n x equal to 0. So if we make x the subject of formula, this will give us 0 plus 2 or on this other side. What we do here is to introduce a natural log to take care of this log here. Okay? Because this is a natural log. So we also introduce a natural log. The e, so this will now give us e i n x equal to zero. All right. So if we do this, x on the side will give us two r may y. This natural log we take care of this natural log. Okay. Then our x become yeah e not we give us one. Okay, so therefore, our x 
is equal to 2 or 1. X is the solution. Q, E, D. All right. So this is the answer to this exponential. All right. So if you gain value from this video, kindly drop it in the comment section by saying thanks, Jay, by saying well done. Okay. Now, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you just watched now. Okay. So thanks for being there. Online Mass TV loves you. Jake's loves you. Bye for now.